Hi, greetings from Harwood, uh, Wales in the UK. As I just finished my 10 day long Vipassana experience, I thought I would uh, take the opportunity to capture this experience uh, through this video message. First of all, you may wonder what is um, Vipassana. It's uh, one of India's most ancient meditation technologies uh, that was rediscovered by Gautama the Buddha 2500 years ago. Um, it's not related to religion, uh, race or uh, any kind of faith. It's just a methodology to help to peace the mind and, uh, and basically meditate. Um, it starts with uh, learning how to concentrate the mind um, and later finding the connection between mind and body and uh, realizing uh, the universal truth about self. It's a lot of uh, tough work. Uh, it's an insightful, very insightful experience. Um, why I got here? Uh, back in Singapore I used to do evening sessions, meditation sessions, and I heard a couple of friends uh, sharing about their Vipassana experiences, and I was convinced it would uh, be a very interesting and beneficial experience to me too. So what does it look like? Uh, the meditation teacher, Goenka, through audio and visual aids, um, guides you through the learning process. There are two assistant teachers, one for men and one for women, uh, who can answer your questions related to meditation. They are available for short private discussions at 12 noon and 9 o'clock. There are also course managers who make sure that uh, everything is properly managed and, uh, and assured for you. Basically, you live in, for the 10 days you live in a remote area, like here in Harwood, in a little meditation camp. Uh, food and accommodation is given to you, and otherwise it's all hard work between 4 a.m. and 9.30 p.m. Um, approximately in a day you meditate around 10 hours. Uh, there is a breakfast break, a lunch break, and, uh, and a short uh, tea session instead of dinner. <coughs> After the meals you have some time to rest, which means either you can go to sleep if you can still sleep, or just walk in a, in a dedicated area. There are a couple of rules that you have to abide to. Uh, men and women are separated. You have to eat what you are given. One of the rules is not to kill anything or anyone, therefore you are vegetarian. Um, and a big, big discipline is also a noble silence which means you can't talk to anyone, uh, you can't uh, build any eye contact, non-verbal communication, uh, you can't read, write or uh, listen to music. Basically all of these are there for you to make sure that you don't get distracted, your mind can really focus on them. It was one of the toughest parts, but it was definitely worth it. There are three things that you need uh, to complete the course, in my view. The first one is uh, the commitment to learn the methodology. Uh, the second one is the discipline to abide by the rules. And the third one is uh, continuing with the, with the practice and with patience, which probably was the biggest challenge for me. If I look back, there are a lot of things that one can get out of the Vipassana meditation course. <coughs> Maybe I would highlight three of the things uh, that I, I would take away from this program. The first one was uh, when we learned the Anapana meditation in the first three days. Uh, I realized that uh, concentrating the mind on the now is very difficult. When you are on your own, you realize that you are, your head is full of past thoughts and uh, future fantasies. It's like a little playground in the head where monkeys keep jumping up and down and up and down. It's very, very difficult to be present, fully present. Uh, the second one was the realization of uh, the fact that nothing is permanent. In life there are happy and unhappy moments, pleasant and unpleasant experiences, but none of them really stay. They all arise and they go away. Um, and a, a metaphor that Goenka used was uh, related to um, related to the candle, that uh, the candle alit, it gives flame and then it disappears, it gives flame, it disappears. When we look at it, it seems that it, it continues, but in reality it arises and it passes away. And uh, like everything in life, uh, we have to accept this truth. The third thing was related to craving and aversion. 
craving for things that we don't have in life, all the pleasant things uh, possibly. Um, craving would be like for the first days for me it was um, it was craving for chocolate biscuits, <laughs> uh, craving for anything that you don't have uh, in life. I realized that my second day was the really tough one because I I really looked forward to just going away and uh, and uh, and going back to my old reality. Um, I was ready to pack up actually. Um, I was craving for being back. Um, old life. The other thing is the aversion or dislike that sometimes we, we just spend a lot of mind time with, uh, with not wanting certain things in life. What now? It's a good question. The ups and downs in life will continue but given these meditation tools that I've been given and I have learned uh, I can calm my mind maybe a bit faster and find an inner peace which is already a huge gift. Um, the fact that I'm here, it, it proves that it's an experience worth it, and um, it's a tough uh, but very insightful experience that I look forward to take forward in the future.